Hey friends, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about three tips and strategies that you can use to get your period back faster. It took me two whole years to get my cycle back after I got off birth control, only to figure out years later that I likely had undiagnosed PCOS and more likely than not, probably further messed up my cycle and period and hormones because of my disordered eating as a teenager. So in today's video, I'm hoping that I can catch you at an earlier time than I figured this all out so you can get your cycle back as quickly as possible so you can regulate your hormones, maybe conceive and have a baby sooner than later, or just have that peace of mind that everything is flowing normally and that, you know, your body is not broken. I know that that's how I felt when my period was gone. So I want to help you get your period back ASAP. I'm also a dietitian and personal trainer. So if you have any questions on nutrition, fitness, or anything related to hormone management and PCOS, then definitely let me know. And I will make a video on that topic next. Okay. So the number one thing that I think has the most weight over whether you get your period back more quickly or more slowly is your calorie and macronutrient needs being met. Physically and nutritionally speaking, your body wants to feel safe to ovulate and to be able to conceive a child. And part of that is your body feeling confident that you're not going to go long periods of time without getting adequate nutrients and fuel because that's not fertile ground for a baby to grow and develop. Right, Bubby? <laughs> Your body needs not only enough fuel calorie wise, but also macronutrient wise. So it's not just good enough to have enough calories, but to be getting all of those calories from pastries and soda, because that's not fueling your micronutrient needs and your macronutrient needs. And if you're eating totally healthy, but not enough calories, that's not sufficient either, because again, your body is not going to be able to grow and develop a child in the most healthy way possible. So you need both. Keep in mind too that sometimes we overthink fertility nutrition. Fertility nutrition really is just general nutrition. It's not rocket science. It's not anything crazy. You need to be fueling your body in a balanced way and that's ultimately what it comes down to. But if you want to go a step further and really focus on what is the most optimal diet for fertility, I would really focus in on antioxidant rich foods like fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts and seeds, and things like green tea. Antioxidants help reduce free radicals in the body that can cause damage to anything like our cells and our egg quality, sperm quality or whatever, so it helps in all those areas to protect our body from harm. One more thing I'd like you to consider about nutrition is has your body gone through any nutritional stress in the past? This can be anything from chronic dieting and restricting to something more extreme like disordered eating. I know that I had a little bit of both in my teen years and I wish I would have gone on a multivitamin and really cared more about my nutrition even sooner. Of course, obviously in hindsight, I can see that now, but I highly recommend all my patients and clients to go on a multivitamin if they're on birth control and especially if they have had a chronic history of dieting or disordered eating because this is going to help your body kind of pick back up the pace with meeting your micronutrient needs which oftentimes are much harder to meet when you've had those things in the past. Even if it's been years since your disordered eating or dieting has occurred, it really takes your body a lot of time to catch up and to heal after that has taken place. And that's why I think that my body took a long time for my cycle to get back into, you know, regulation because I think that even though I was eating healthy at the time, I just wasn't getting the micronutrients that my body needed in the quantities that it needed. So even if you are healthy and eating adequately now, I recommend a multivitamin and I will leave some recommendations that I truly stand by in the description below. My top three based on your budget are Hum Nutrition, that's my budget friendly option, Parallel, which is a vitamin multi-pack that I think is really great for hormone health and fertility. And then also Theralogics has a really great prenatal that's kind of somewhere in between and has some DHA and also has plenty of iron in it. So I love all three. I'll leave them in the comment section below and you can check out which one fits your budget. Another thing that I really wish I knew about sooner 
was Ovacetol. Ovacetol is essentially a USP or quality and purity tested supplement that is myo-inositol and d chiro -inositol. And you might be like, okay, Katie, what the heck does that mean though? Essentially, it is a vitamin-like compound that has been shown in so many research studies to help support ovulation and to help with insulin resistance. So it can help women who are trying to get pregnant regulate their cycles, regulate ovulation, and also manage blood glucose glucose regulation, which can be something that's often symptoms of PCOS. As a PCOS dietitian now, I see so many women go on Ovacetol in combination with making some dietary changes to improve fertility and they get their cycle back within months. Now, how fast you get back your period is definitely gonna depend on a lot of factors, including why your cycle is gone in the first place. Do you have disordered eating or an eating disorder in the past? That can definitely make it take a little bit longer. And are you addressing all of the things like micronutrients nutrient deficiencies, energy needs, and you know, over-exercise, stress, stuff like that in combination with taking Ovacetol. So it's not just like a magic cure, but it definitely does help so, so much. Not only can it help with ovulation, it can also help with improving egg quality and sperm quality. Yes, it is kind of targeted more as a women's health supplement, but you can definitely take it as a man as well. It's been shown to help improve sperm quality too in men's studies. It's just lesser study than women's studies. Surprisingly, most research is done on men, but for this particular supplement, we just see a lot more support for women's health. So I highly recommend Ovacetol and I do have a discount code for it. If you are interested, it is DBNUT and you can get it at Theralogics.com. It is about a 15% off discount for a three month supply. So definitely check it out and give it a go and let me know what you think. The final tip that I have for you today is to manage your stress. Stress management is often a very overlooked tool to getting your cycle back quicker, but it is very, very essential to getting it back and keeping it regular. Do you remember when I said that your body needs to feel safe in order to ovulate regularly and thus conceive a child? Well, the logic is very similar here. Your body needs to feel safe in order to conceive and therefore you need to lower stress and cortisol to make that happen. Otherwise, your body is going to perceive your current situation as not fertile environment to grow a child. When I was trying to get my cycle back in order, I did a lot of yoga and guided meditation. I definitely need to get back on my guided meditation game, but I found those two activities to really help and not to mention just making sure you're getting out and getting plenty of vitamin D and taking a walk as much as you can. I also tried to switch my mindset into, okay, what can I control? What do I have control over and what don't I have control over? So I didn't really have control over when my cycle came back, but I did have control over what supplements I took, how I managed my stress, and also how how I formed my diet to be as well-rounded as possible without stressing me out and without leaning into that disordered eating tendency that I knew that I had. Pick out two or three stressors that are really impacting your mental health right now and journal on them. What's going on? How are they impacting you? And how can you improve some of these stressors even if in the slightest way? Is it yoga? Is it hanging out with a friend? Is it journaling more often? Is it doing more of the hobby that you kind of set to the side? Maybe it's incorporating some adaptogenic herbs so you can manage stress a little bit easier with the help of a supplement. Whatever they are, make sure to share them with the community in the comment section below because we'd love to hear what your personal strategies are. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and let us know below what your future questions are so we can answer them on the channel. That's how I know what to make videos on in the future. And if you're interested in anything that I talked about today, check out the description below. I have my discount codes, my links, and also different ways that you can connect with the dark blue community in the description box. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.